Hello, my name is Mark Moyman of Steamer Software. Uh, I'd just like to take a few moments to introduce T-Chart for Net uh, charting components for Microsoft Visual Studio Net 2010 programming environment. Uh, Steamer has been offering charting solutions since 1995 and we've been working with Net since uh, 2002. Uh, T-Chart for Net is an all-in-one charting library and it's written in C-sharp and it offers development components for charts, maps and gauges to be used with WinForm, ASP.NET WebForm with uh, AJAX optimizations, WPF forms, Silverlight, Compact Framework and reporting services. 100% uh, source code is available for all T-Chart code. In this demo we'll show T-Chart in a Windows Forms project. I've already created a form and we're adding the chart to it. Uh, we'll fill out the space. Uh, the top item here is a chart controller. Uh, this can be associated with the chart. If we right click on the chart to open the editor, we can add uh, a series type selected from the gallery. In this case we'll add an area and we'll add a line. Behind this button I put a line of code that will fill the area with random data and if we go back to the editor and select the line we'll add the data to the line as being a function of the area series in this case we set function and we can choose from one of the function types available here being average and selecting area as the data source if we go to the options tab uh, we'll change the average to be a function of every three points and you'll see that the line takes shape. If we now run the example and add random data you'll see the line here uh, following the average of the, the area series. Uh, this chart can be zoomed or it could be scrolled. We could uh, rotate the whole chart or we could zoom the whole chart in and out uh, we could change the perspective of it and modify the the depth. The chart could be set to, to back to 2D and if we go to the editor we could change and add some points to the the line series for example making the points visible, making them a little bit larger and we could change them perhaps into a, a sphere uh, one other thing I'll show here would be the the themes. Uh, you can select from a, a series of uh, available themes and here we'll set uh, a black theme for the chart. We'll take a look at some of the demos included with T-Chart. Uh, you can view those in the evaluation version and uh, all of the source code. This is T-Chart uh, WPF version on a WPF form. If we run the demo you'll see that you can move through the demo by selecting the combos and, and looking at the different options of that zoom and scroll is available. Uh, T-Chart includes gauges and maps and many different uh, series types and uh, many different kinds of tools. The Silverlight demo shown here is outwardly similar in appearance and in functionality and likewise the source code is included to show you how to create all of these uh, different examples and to apply them to your own uh, uh, project requirements. This is uh, T-Chart's web chart for ASP.NET. Um, this is the editor that you can use to change the different options uh, for viewing the chart. If we run that you'll see this is the zoom tool for web chart. This would be the the scrolling tool. Uh, 
and finally we'll look at uh, t-chart mapping this is the uh, the mapping example uh, maps courtesy of uh, National Atlas now if we run this demo you'll see our first demo opens with a, a world map and we can zoom in and out of that and we could load uh, the example of the US map that we have here which is rather more detailed you'll see the detail on the, uh, the coastline is really quite superb here Uh, thank you for taking your time to look at the demos. If you'd like to learn any more about Steamers products or to try out the uh, fully functional version of Teach Up for Net, uh, the evaluation is available at the web at uh, worldwideweb.steamer.com. Or if you have any questions, uh, please let us know at infosteamer.com. Thanks once again.